go. Okay, 113, here we go, is in the ring. 113, Grand Champion Gold, Dark Moons, Black Tri Affair. Number 119, Grand Champion Gold, Matahari, Virtuoso in the Jungle. Momentum. Number 137. Number 137. Grand Champion Bronze, Zamorati's Doc Holiday, SC Decat, RATO. Number 141. Grand Champion Silver, Dark Moons, Project Mayhem. Number 147. Grand Champion Marjani in Classic Style. Number 153, Grand Champion Dark Moon's God of Thunder. Number 148, Nirvana Itapuka. Oh no, I got that wrong. That was, oh, we had just number 179, okay. Champion Class 6, Captain Kirk. The Itapuka was. Uh, Grand Champion Silvers, Malabo, Itapuka. Number one. Oh, they're out of order. Number 172. Champion Undercover, USS American Legend. Number 174, Grand Champion Zamorati's Bombette. Number 168, Champion Arubmix Uptown Girl. Number 182, Grand Champion Undercover Nuttin' But Anastasia. Number 190, Champion Sundiata's Tezeta's Esqueda. Number 200, Champion Deluxe Alternate Endings. Lure Coursing Dog, number 101. Oh no, that was Veteran Dog. Oop. Oh. 101 um, Junior Veteran Dog, Grand Champion Undercover, Amara Simon Says Legend. 7 to 10 Bitch, 110 Grand Champion Gold, Aquaban El Dorado, Betcha by Golly Wow. Senior Veteran Bitches, number 122 Grand Champion Silver, Laurel Simply Shocking, Sabrina. And I fear I'm missing somebody. Plus winner's dog and winner's bitch, of course. 142. Oh, 142, lure, lure coursing bitch. DC, B says bold spirit. As well as winner's dog and winner's bitch. So he's taking the non-regulars, the veterans, the lure coursing and the veterans and winner's dog and winner's bitch and he's putting them on the diagonal for now. It appears as if he's going to make some other choices within the specials class of those who strictly entered the best of breed competition. Uh, so he's pulling them closer in, probably so he can move the others.
Okay, so here we have the So we have 113 black, dark moons black tie black tri affair 119 grand champion gold matahari virtuoso in the jungle 129 champion dagaba's unstoppable momentum he's looking at the first three and he's made another pull of 113 Grand Champion Gold Black Dark Moons Black Tri Affair and number 119 Grand Champion Gold Champion Matahara Virtuoso in the Jungle and number 147 Grand Champion Marjani in Classic Style. So now he has, he looks to be taking a look at number 153, Grand Champion Dark Moon's God of Thunder. Number 163, who's at a sequence, that's what's throwing me. Grand Champion Silver Malabo Itapuka, number 179. No, 177, Champion Classics, Captain Kirk, CAA. And he is pulling out the God of Thunder dog, number 153, has made the next cut, as well as, what is that gentleman's number, 190? So he's looking four at a time. We have 148, Nirvana Itapuka, Spring Grand Champion Bronze, Spring Willows, don't take less than 100. Uh, number 172, Champion Undercover, USS American Legend, and number, uh, um, let's see, the uh, 174, Zamorati's Bombette, who made the cut. And the Spring Willows bitch also made the cut. Spring Willows don't take less than 100. And so did number 148, Nirvana Itapuka. I am missing this guy, 180. 180, 187. Champion Nicolau Itapuka is still in the cut. Okay, and now he's taking a look at his non-regulars. So this is his uh, junior, his the veterans and winners dog and yeah no the winners and the lure oh, veterans and the lure coursing winners. He's moving them four at a time, and then he's deciding who he's pulling in. So it looks like um, the senior veteran bitch, Shocking Sabrina, was pulled.
and Winter's Dog and Winter's Bitch. I think he has to keep both of them. He can't let one go unless he's absolutely ready to call it. Oh, and also in this final cut is number 200 Deluxe um, Alternate Endings and Champion Sundiata Tezetas Esqueda, number 190. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's about right. So I think I think those that are in the middle of the ring now are all of his awards of merits plus the top winners. Oh, and he did pull out winners bitch as well. Okay, and Doc Holiday, Zamorati's Doc Holiday was also pulled in the final cut. That'd be number 137. So he's got his dogs in the front currently, I think, if we're looking at how things are going. I believe 160. Yeah, he's got all the dogs, and now he's going to move them. Number 113, Grand Champion Gold, Black Moon's Dark, Dark, Dark Tri Affair. Number 119, Grand Champion Gold, Matahari Virtuoso in the Jungle. Number 147, Grand Champion Marjani in Classic Style. Number 153, Grand Champion Dark Moon's God of Thunder. Number 187, Grand Champion Niccolo Adapuka. Oh, here he's making some cuts. One more cut. Okay, he has pulled up front. 113 Black Tri Affair. Number, oh my, I'm sorry, I can't get all these numbers this quick. Also kept number 101 from the veteran dog class. Okay. And now he's looking at bitches. One forty eight Nirvana Itapuka, number one fifty six Grand Champion Bronze Spring Willows don't take less than a hundred. Champion Zamorati's Bombette, Grand one sixty nine Grand Champion Bronze Sundiata Tezetta's Tej Bicat, Champion Deluxe Alternate Endings, number two hundred, and uh, Senior veteran bitch number 122, Grand Champion Silver, Laurel, Simply Shocking Sabrina. And number 
Shocking Sabrina has been pulled out. Number 200, Deluxe Alternate Endings. Number 190, Champion Sundiata Tezetis Esqueda. Champion Zamorati's Bombette. Number 166. One, I believe, no, 156. Grand Champion Bronze Spring Willows don't take less than 100. And the Itapuka. An Itapuka bitch. Okay. One more time. Dark Moon's Black Tri Affair leading the pack out here in front with number 119. Grand Champion Gold Matahari Virtuoso in the Jungle. Grand Champion Dark Moon's God of Thunder, 153. Taking one, he's taking uh, two Black Moon dogs around together, not litter mates. And now he's having them change places. Okay, now he's taking a look at number 119, Grand Champion Gold Matahari Virtuoso in the Jungle, along with number 187, Grand Champion Nicolau Itapuka. And he's putting them in order behind them, in the order that I called. And now it looks like he's going to move the remaining males that he has in the ring. Number 147, Grand Champion Marjani in classic style. And his uh, uh, veteran dog, number 101. Um, Grand Champion Undercover Amaro, Simon Says Legend. Number 137. Um... Grand Champion Bronze Zamorati Doc Holiday, SCD Cat RATO. And then he has uh, the Itapuka Dog. Oh. Uh, 187 Grand Champion Nicolau Itapuka. And now he's taking the Simply Shocking Sabrina. Number 122 from the Senior Veteran Bitch Class, along with number 200 of um, champ uh, Deluxe Alternate Endings, and number 190, Champion Sundiata's Tezetis Esqueda. And then following up here, he also has number uh, 174, uh, 174, Grand Champion Zamorati's Bombette, Number 156, Grand Champion Bronze Spring Willows don't take less than 100, and and this fellow's number ends in 8. Can you get this number? This gentleman right here. Oh, I got it. 148, uh, Nirvana Itapuka. And then he has his winner's dog and winner's bitch at the end. Winner's dog is Dark Moon's 
Ozzy Mandias, bred by Veronica Prudale and John Prudale and Michael Work, by Champion Meister House Razzle Dazzle, out of Grand Champion Silver, Dark Moons Barking Bad, owned by Veronica and John Prudale, number 51. Okay, and sorry, this is um, Deluxe Alternate Endings, number 200. Going around here, and he's pulling her up. He is putting... Okay. Okay, so it looks, and it looks like Winner's Bitch will be selected for Best of Winners, I think. Oh no, crazy. The suspense is killing us. He's pulling Winner's Bitch up. Asking everybody to get up. Definitely, this is our group here. Dark Moons breaking. Dark Moons Black Tri Affair. Laurel Simply Shocking Sabrina. Best of Opposite Sex from the Senior Veteran Bitch Class. The winner's bitch was. Awarded Best of Winners. Number 92. Yes, a Rubix Killer Queen was awarded Best of Winners. So, let's see. Dark Moon's Black Tri Affair, Best of Breed, BCOA National Specialty 2021. A Rubix Killer Queen. Best of winners. Best of opposite sex, senior veteran bitch, number one in 22. Uh, simply shocking Sabrina. Oh, gosh. Are you writing these down? No. Oh, could you please? I, I know it's really hard to see. Okay, so uh, 113 is best of breed. 92 is best of winners. 122 is best of opposite. Select Dog is the uh, Dark Moon's um, Thunder of the God um, uh, Deluxe Alternate Endings. Number 200 is Select Bitch. Um, number 119 is an Award of Merit. Number 187, I believe, is an Award of Merit. Number 190. Number 190 is an Award of Merit. Number 174. He's going first. Is, uh, let's see. Um, number one, I'll get the 148, right? 156, 147, 101, uh, 163, and who is that? Oh, I know who that is. That's um, 137. So, oh, he's now he's figuring who's uh, eligible for the national owner handled. Okay, so again, 180. I'm writing it down, folks. I don't want to say anything until I know I've got it now. We do not have a great angle to see armbands, and I don't want to give you the wrong ones. 187, 190, 174, 156.
Who's this last guy? Oh. Okay, so there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten awards of merit. Ten? Okay, let me just write that down. What page is that? 68? Okay. Okay, leave that there, Pat, just a sec. Okay, just to confirm, no, I need that, please. Okay, here we go, folks. Best to breed, number 113, Grand Champion Gold, Dark Moons, Black Tri Affair. Best of winners, number 92, winner's bitch, a Rubmix killer queen. Best of opposite sex, number 122, from the senior veteran bitch class, grand champion silver, Laurel Simply Shocking Sabrina. Select dog, number 153, grand champion dark moons, god of thunder. Select bitch, number 200, Champion Deluxe Alternate Endings. Award of Merit number 119. Grand Champion Gold Matahari Virtuoso in the Jungle. Award of Merit. Yeah, you've got something duplicated. Hold on. No, I have the same for Select Dog. Oh, I, I have the same problem you did. You know what? This isn't this one. This one is the Itapuka dog. Yeah, and he was the Lord of Mirror. This is, dog. that's correct. This one is 187. No, we had 187. This is the troll dog. No, the select dog, that, that's 153. No, this is 153. That's a tri dog, 153. Okay. This is another, this is the one that. That I lost. Mm mm. Got cut. That one got cut. It's an Itapuka. No, it's a different Itapuka. But it's not that one. Oh, man. Well, can you go, okay, well, we've got, can you check and see what number we've got wrong with the ring steward? Because we got a number wrong. We're double checking on our award of merits. We've got one number listed twice. So we're trying to, I think we're missing one because we have one duplicated, so. Folks, I really apologize. It was um, all of our view was um, we were in the wrong place to see armbands for this, and I need to sit by the videographers, and the armbands were not working for the <laughs> not working for us. In just a minute, I'll um, make sure to list them all out for you.
Yes. Hey, there's an effort here to get the stud dog and the brood bitch classes together. And I have a reliable person checking with the ring steward on the last of the awards of merit. There were people switching armbands and everything at the last minute, so i um, really sorry for the delay and having the trouble here for accuracy, folks. We just want to make sure we report it right. Okay, so they're about to award. This is now best bread buy. Uh, you are? Okay. I'm trying to... 
Did we take a pause? Uh, or, okay. Yeah, actually, we're just, uh, yeah, that's what I made mean, that through, or what, we're about sorry to edit. Oh, that's right, you're not dog folks, so you, right. okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, mm -hmm. so that was best to breed, that was sort of the, you know, the big ta-da, and yeah. now there are some additional um, other awards that are valued by many, like the stud dog class and best bred by exhibitor. There's a few more little ones, so okay. you need to film this and okay. yeah. we'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, here is number 51. Ah, so this is number 51 being shown for Best Bred By, who was Winner's Dog, and he was brought in. And now this will be best veteran between number 101 and number 122. So 122. You got a question? You good? Okay. Good meaning you're still filming, right? Good. Okay. Okay. So Winner's Dog had come out of the bread by class, so I uh, apparently he was awarded the um, best bread by. That'd be number 51, Dark Moon's Ozymandias, bred by Veronica Predale and John Predale and Mike Work, sired by Champion Meisterhouse Razzle Dazzle, and out of Grand Champion Silver, Dark Moon's Barking Bad, owned by Veronica and John Predale. Then we still have Best Puppy. So there'll be a few of those because we had um, six to nine and then the uh, uh, nine to 12 was split by color. We only have two puppies in the ring competing for best puppy? Okay. Now this is best puppy. So we have, um, there is number, th this, I'm trying to figure out who Pam has. Pam! Pam! Pam, what?
What number are you? Thank you. Okay, so we have two puppies that have that are here to compete for best puppy. We have number 23, El Dorado and Akawaba, Spy in Disguise at Relic, bred by Pam Joffrey, Sheila London, Susan Coe, sired by champion Akawaba and El Dorado Top Brass, and out of grand champion El Dorado and Akawaba Play Misty for me, owned by Diana and Laura Sanders and Pam Joffrey. Also, we have Light Speens Beam Me Up, um, number 34, bred by Julia Alpert and her daughter Sienna Youngkin Albert by Zamorati's, Zamorati's officer I Ain't Going Lightspeed CA out of Grand Champion Lightspeed Starbucks Destiny, owned by Sarah Smith Faulkner and her husband Jeff. So here we go moving. This is Camo, El Dorado and Aquaba Spy in Disguise at Relic. Read by Pam Joffrey, Sheila London, Susan Coe. Oh, and here we have someone else who's come to join the party. We have, who does Ron have? The armband number is in ink. I can't see it from here. Oh, here it is. It's six to none puppy dog, Tamba Showstopper at Bluestone. And now we have the light speeds beam me up to Zamorati. The red dog shown, I would like to be able to say a few words about is Tamba's showstopper at Bluestone, bred by uh, Jean Biller and Bill Knuff, sired by Grand Champion Silver, Champion Coco Blues Phoenix, out of Champion Arubmix Sudden Impact at Tamba, owned by Scott Osborne, Rachel Osborne, and Heather Galford. Ah, and we have another one that came. Who is this? Looks like a bitch, maybe. Can you see that number at all? Not at all. It's got to be six. Yeah. Okay, and hey, best puppy has been awarded to the puppy dog number 23, El Dorado and Aquaba Spy in Disguise at Relic. Camo, bred by Pam Joffrey, Sheila London, Susan Coe, owned by Diana and Laura Sanders, and Pam Joffrey, who's handling today. He's sired by champion Aquaba and El Dorado Top Brass, and out of grand champion El Dorado and Aquaba Play Misty for me. Congratulations. Okay, it looks like we are finally starting the stud dog class. Okay, so we have 
So it looks like we have two, we have three playing. Number 131, 169, and 173. And I am really sorry to say I am no way going to be able to tell you the armband numbers of the get. Only the stud dogs. Um, I just can't see it. I don't even, some of them don't even have the armbands on. I can only report what I can see. Okay. Okay, so we have three absentees in this class. Ready? Are we up? Are we up, Tony? And is the mic hot? Okay. All right. Folks, we had a little technical difficulty there, but I'm glad to bring you here now to the, um, uh, the uh, stud dog class where we have the stud dogs and two of the get were chosen. We decided not to have any more than that, just I think for sanity's sake. Um, I can see the numbers of the stud dogs, but I can't see the numbers of the get. And um, I kind of hate to guess, but I'll tell you the people's names if I know them. So um, the first dog that is out in front is uh, being handled by Jeff Gillespie, and it's the stud dog champion classics and Dasara's dressed for success. He's bred by Sue and Jeff, uh, Sue Kite and Jeff Gillespie, and he's sired by Champion Kazor's Natural Classic and Out of Classics All About Me and owned by Sue Kite. Behind him are two dogs that I'm not sure who they are, uh, but, um, oh, one is Ron Bigford is handling one, and the other one is being handled by Sue Kite. Um, so sorry I don't know more of knowing the identity of those dogs. They... Hopefully you're getting a nice look at the, at the get here by these stud dogs. Okay, now our next class is um, the stud dog is number 173, Grand Champion Bronze Champion Kazor's Prince Kalen, being handled at the moment by Natalie Sherwin. And uh, uh, behind her is um, Jay Webb and Stella Sapios. And then the third one here is number 169, Grand Champion Bronze Sundiata Tezetas Tej Bicat. And behind Heather is Chris Maxka and Adam, Adam, say your last name for me. Kazakowski. I'm doing that without even looking. Kazakowski. So. Adam Kazakowski has one of the get behind Sundietta Tezetta's Tej. Okay, 
Hi. I've, I've been putting that together all day. And I really want to talk to you. I just keep getting torn and put and all of that. So I still want to talk to you about. Yeah, can we, are you? Yeah, me too. And I'm not going to let it go. Yeah, and I'm not going to let it go. So I'm glad we're doing it. But, um, okay, um, I'm here soon tomorrow for sure. Otherwise, I need, I don't have anywhere to stay after Friday night. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, afternoon. I'm all free after this. I didn't enter. Oh, great. Then we can chat. We'll sit and chat. That's great. Ooh, sorry. Wow, sorry the mic was hot there. I haven't been able to talk to people much this week, this week so far. So, I hope that the, the cameraman can be able to see. We are moving the get of number 173, Grand Champion Bronze, Kazor's Prince Kalen. So, in this class, the, the, uh, the dog and bitch are checked just to make sure there are no disqualifications in general. And then there are, um, uh, but it's the quality of the get that's being not the dog in the stud dog class. Just for those of you who don't know. Most of you do. And I can't give you armband numbers here, I'm really sorry to say. Okay, so we've been looking here at the get of number 169, Grand Champion Bronze, Sundiata Tezetas Tej B-Cat. So the judge has taken a look at all three families and he looks to be putting up number 131, Champion Classics Tesara's Dress for Success as number one. Number two, he's putting up number 169, Grand Champion Bronze, Sundiata Tezetas Tej Bcat. And third place to number 173 Grand Champion Bronze, Kazor's Prince Kalen. Okay, now soon coming up, I'm sure, is the Brood Bitch class. Did you go NOHS? Did, who got NOHS? Uh, Sabrina. I thought so. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, she, she looks like a million bucks. Pardon? She looks like a million bucks. Oh, thank you. Fabulous. That was a great win out of that class. I mean, great win, period, but <laughs> super. Yeah, really good. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You bet. I got a hot microphone here, so. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's okay. Congratulations. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I was just able to confirm that the NOHS winner was our best of opposite sex, which was the veteran bitch 10 plus, uh, Laurel Shocking Sabrina. So congratulations to Laura May on that win too. So she was best veteran, bitch NOHS, and uh, best of op. Okay, so now we are looking at the brood bitch class. And uh, 
Okay, so we have number 204, who's who we see in the ring right now, who is Grand Champion Silver's Dark Moon's Barking Bad, bred by Veronica Predale and Michael Work and John Predale, sired by Grand Champion Bronze Champion Jacuba Sequest first round knockout out of Grand Champion Dark Moon's Tilt-A-Whirl, owned by Veronica and John Predale and Michael Work. And we also have coming in number 202, Grand Champion Sundiata's Tezetta CA, BCAT TKA, bred by Chris Maxka and Jim Maxka, sired by Grand Champion Silver Sundiata's Winter Solstice Stun out of Sundiata's Black Swan, owned by Heather Kilmer Crusade and Chris Maxka in Maplewood, New Jersey. Okay, so we are moving the get of number 202 with the produce. We are looking at the produce of the Brood Bitch class. Number 102, Grand Champion Sundiata's Tazetta CA BCAT TKA. And also number 204, oh, this is the Sundiata's group, Sundiata family. Now here we're gonna have the Dark Moons family. I believe this is John Predale handling uh, number 204, Champion Dark Moons Barking Bad, Grand Champion Silver. And now we have the select dog, I believe. Dark Moons God of Thunder. And the best of breed dog. Champion Dark Moons Black Tri Affair. And there goes the Dark Moons family. He's put the Dark Moons family up front. And the first place brood bitch goes to number 204, Grand Champion Silver Dark Moons Barking Bad JC. And second place goes to the 202, number Grand Champion Sundiata's Tazetta CA BCAT TKA.
will be two dogs shown by one person. There's two entries. So there will be four dogs coming to the ring, two people. Okay, so here we have our brace class, and the brace in front is number 81, Tailwinds Illustrated Edition, FDC, CA, CAA, FCAT, CGCA, CGCU, TKA. This dog was bred by Julie, Julie Light and sired by dual champion Jasiri Sukari, the Illustrated Man, SCLCX and out of Grand Champion, Dual Champion, Tailwinds, Diamonds Are Forever SC, owned by Terry Fiedler and Julie Light. And the second, the other of this brace pair is number 140, Joyous Autoray Tiger Lily SC Decat. Bred by Sue Joyner, sired by Champion Kinchaz, the Striped Fighter, and out of Grand Champion, Dual Champion, Joyous Oh Happy Daisy SC owned by Terry Fiedler and Ruby Fiedler. So they live in Fairdale, Kentucky. The second pair is brace number, oh, well, let's take a look. Let's just, first of all, we'll talk about the first brace. This is brace one. And you may or may not know, but they did make some changes with the brace uh, rules in the last few years. And um, you can now have two handlers while working with, um, the brace. Lovely if you can put two on the table like that. They're to be uh, owned by at least some of the same people, some common owners, which is true in both, of course. So, He's took a look on, at them on the table, probably to kind of just comparing size and a few other features. They are supposed to look alike as a brace. So he's asking to move them down and back. This is like, a, and now the dogs will be on the inside coming back. Again, this is Tailwinds Illustrated Edition, along with Joyous Ottery Tiger Lily. Now on the table, we have the second brace. Number 164 is Champion Epic Select Moore's Karma Could Changing the World, bred by Becky Blancett and Tracy Leonard DVM, and Hunter Calvaleg and Shane Moore, by Grand Champion Bronze Dual Champion Barassas 51's Comeback Kid, SCCAA BCAT, out of Grand Champion Epic Select, The Course of True Love, SC BCAT, owned by Becky Blancett, Terry, Tracy Leonard, DVM, Thomas Wright, uh, Hunter Kalaveg, and Shane Moore in White House, Tennessee. And also in this pairing is number 171, Champion Epic Karma Ka Select, Would You Believe, BCAT. 
uh, bred by Becky Blancett and Tracy Leonard DVM by Grand Champion Epic's Magic Treat SCB Cat out of Grand Champion Epic Select the Course of True Love SCB Cat, owned by Becky Blancett and Cindy Levas in Dayton, Ohio. Looks like first place is going to brace number two, which was champion epic select Moore's Karma could just changing the world and champion epic karma could select would you believe B Cat. And second place goes to the first brace, the Brindle Brace number 81 and number 140, Tailwinds Illustrated Edition and Joyous Ottery Tiger Lily. So with that, that is our final wrap up and all of our competition is complete for BCOA 2021. My name is Katie Campbell. Thank you so much for being with us today and being patient with us as we train new crew for um, Facebook Live and having live streaming and that um, what we'll have for video in the future for our breed. So. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you at Purina Farms in October 2022. Thank you all, and have a great day. Enjoy your Basenji life. Bye-bye. So, who? What happened? Yeah, who won? Okay. Well, there were several little competitions going on, but the, the big one was there was a tricolor dog with a young gal that had long, brown, wavy hair, and uh, number 113, and um, that was, she, she won best of breed at the national. So that was really the top award, yeah. But we kind of knew it was coming because the same judge judged the breed at Westminster and he gave her the breed at Westminster and loved him. So, and he's a beautiful dog, so it was great. But one thing about it is there's a lot of winners. This is off, right? This is off, right? You killed the mic. Karen's book. This is Karen's book, so now I need to mark my own book.